Okay, so we're, we're away. Hi everyone, thanks for um, hopping on. And I'm gonna share something that I found really helpful, basically. Um, and first of all, I'm gonna apologize because um, we're putting our house on the market and we've got the photographer coming tomorrow. So I have, um, I have had no time to really prepare. So I'm kind of winging it tonight. <laughs> so I hope it makes sense. I just want to do a shout out for Maxine right now. Maxine could have easily gone, um, no, I can't do it tonight. But instead she said, no, I'll do it. So a big shout out to Maxine. Thank you so much for doing this, honey. You're amazing. And, and as a result, I am um, definitely winging something that I shouldn't be winging. So here we go. <laughs> You've got this. Now, I... Um, I, I really love the work of Byron Katie. I don't know if anyone else is familiar with her, but she basically has um, a five-step process, uh, which is really around um, looking at your thoughts and your thoughts that cause suffering, primarily in the are arena of relationships and things that challenge you, mainly people that challenge you. Most of us probably find that the the hardest things in our life come from people and relationships that we're challenged by. Uh, so she, she has developed this process where you can, um, <coughs> excuse me, where you can actually challenge your own thoughts around, around how you're reacting with someone. Um, so essentially what she gets you to do, I wish I'd bought a glass of water. I'm going to start popping out. I'll be one second. Sorry. <coughs> Hi Sarah, hi Angel, hi Karina, just while we've got a little break. Nice to see you on ladies. Oh, sorry about that, very unprepared. Yeah, so she um, asks you to first of all fill out a judge your neighbour worksheet and basically what that means is um, that she that you take someone or an event or usually a person that you're having difficulty with and you write, you write out um, everything that you think about that person in that situation, excuse me. So <clears throat> I had a lot of issues with my sister and the reason I really like this process is because I have um, I have used Byron Katie's process to, to basically heal a rift with my sister that's been lifelong, pretty much. And I didn't really think it was ever going to happen. Um, so, and it is what she calls it quite miraculous work, and it is miraculous work. Um, so I will just read the steps out to you, and then I'll, I'll go through them in a bit more detail. So... The first step is she asks you to write down all your th thoughts about a person. We'll, we'll talk about a person. Um, and this is where you get to write everything you think about them. She says, don't be, don't hold back. This is not a time to be generous or noble or self-censoring. This is where you just spew out all the ugly stuff that you have inside yourself about someone. Um, so... When you've written when you've written that down, say for example, one of mine with my, was with my sister. Um, it was that she doesn't respect me. Um, so the first question she asks is, "Is it true? Is it true that she doesn't respect me?" Second question is, "Can you absolutely know that it's true?" And usually the answer will be no. Um, the third question is how do you react when you think that thought? Of course, whenever you think that thought about someone, you're suffering already, aren't you? You're in pain. Um, not only that, you're arguing, you're, most of the time you're arguing with reality. Um, the fourth question is, who would you be without, who, who would you be without the thought? If you drop that thought, how would you feel then? How would I feel if I dropped the thought that my sister doesn't respect me? Feel really good, wouldn't it? It would create room. It would actually create room for me to maybe start fostering a different feeling around her. 
Um, the other question she asks people is, what would you, oh, what would Nick care? Um, so the other question she gets you to ask is, can you think of one stress-free reason to keep the thought, to keep that thought? Um, I can pop the questions in, uh, in the chat group later if people want the questions, but I would personally recommend that you go and get the book. I'll show you the book at the end. The book is, um, it's called Loving What Is. And if there's one book you buy or get out of the library of this year, make it that one. Um, so she gets you to work through this process and some very and be very very honest about it. This is quite it's quite a challenging process, um, but interesting things come out of it. The final the final part of the process is when you've been through the inquiry process is you do the, what she calls the turnaround. And for me, the turnaround is where the real magic happens. Um, the turnaround is where you take the statement that you've made about the other person and you turn it around back onto yourself. So um, for my sister, it was, she doesn't respect me. She thinks I'm a princess that had life easy. Um, you know, she, she, she basically, we'll, we'll just leave it at she doesn't respect me. Is it true? Um, can you absolutely know that it's true? Well, no, I can't say 100% with absolute certainty that she doesn't respect me. I'm already starting to see that I'm in a story about her. Um, how do I react when I get the thought? Um, of course, I feel horrible. I feel um, misunderstood. You know, I feel like um, she's wronging me somehow because I should be respected. Um, and who would I be without the thought? Well, like I said, it would create space for me to have a completely different relationship with her if I was to drop that thought. Um, and then the turnaround part, she, um, which was really the, the real eye opener for me, when I turned it around, I said, uh, the turnaround is I don't respect her. And that was a real kick in the teeth for me because I actually I actually realised that I didn't respect her. You know, I think that she's tight with money. I think that, you know, she's done this and that and the other with her life, which I think she should have done this and that and the other. You know, when I got into it and when I was really honest, I thought that's really interesting. Actually, I don't respect her. And the turnaround is really wonderful, I think, because it, it quite often illustrates to you that you're expecting someone else to do something that you yourself are not able to do. You know, because we quite often find um, one of the really common issues we have with people is that they don't respect our values. But when we do the turnaround, we actually find that we don't respect their values. So the irony is we want people to do something that we can't you know it's it's really really interesting um, and the other thing is I think one of the really crucial things in healing a relationship with anybody is to really fully take ownership of your part and what whatever is going on in the relationship and I think the turnaround is the bit that, uh, that allows that to happen um, when you see actually what you've what you what your th thoughts are um, and so the third part of the turnaround is um, so we've got I don't she doesn't respect me we've turned it around I don't respect her so the third part which is also absolutely wonderful I think is that is the turnaround is I I should respect myself because I'm saying she should respect me the turnaround is I should respect me and very often this is actually what it comes down to all of the stuff that we're trying to get from other people I want people to respect me I want people to um, acknowledge my values or say that I'm wonderful it's actually just all stuff that we need to be giving to ourselves and that, that's enough we're, we're the only people that should be doing it um, this is another thing she talks about a lot is that um, we have lots of expectations of people that they should understand us, that they should respect our values, that they should 
and she said they, they shouldn't. It's not their job. It really isn't their job. Um, it's our job in the end. Um, so, I mean, it is actually a lot more, there's, there's quite a lot to it. And the, the book that I'm talking about is really wonderful because she um, is basically a whole lot of conversations on different subjects where she goes, she walks through this. Um, but I, uh, so I've got a little, I've got a little video of her doing some work with someone, which I, if that's okay, I'll just share that. Um, and it was kind of difficult to pick a video because everyone's got different issues with people, but it will show you how she, it's, a, it's about nine minutes. So I hope that's not too long. But it, it really, um, it's her walking somebody through the process. And I, I mean, it's such a powerful process. You can see how, how she, um, how she, she frees people quite immediately by walking them through this process. So, and it can be done around anything. Um, so I'll just see if I can pull off the screen share. Um, here we go. Go share computer sound share. Um, here we go. Um, I am angry, upset, sad, that Lillian, my sister, because she is irresponsible and may not be able to take care of herself as she yes. ages like that. Yes. So that's not what you're afraid of. What are you afraid of? That I'm going to end up having to take care of her. Yes. Yeah. Other than that. Piece of cake. Piece of cake. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Let's say she's totally incapacitated. There's no one else to do it. You have to take care of her. I invite you to go in. You know those people you're afraid that you may have to take care of eventually? You don't have the money. You don't have the time. You have a job. Your hands are full. You have to take care of her. Is that true? Uh, no. Okay, so feel it. That was pretty courageous. How uncaring, how unloving, how cold of you. Yeah, what a, what a real jerk I am. Yeah. I can do that. How do you react when you think that thought, I have to take care of her? Let's say that she's just incapacitated. I have to take care of her. I have to give up my life or a large part of it and or large chunk of my own resources to, to do the job, which leaves me which, you know, down here not having enough money, which I'm yes. fearful of and not yes. having enough resources. Well, you've worked your entire life to be where you are. And then here's this thing happening. So how does it feel when you think that thought, I have to take care of her and your mind travels like this. How does it feel when you think that thought? Where do you feel those thoughts? Well, the solar plexus, my gut. Um, when you think these thoughts, does your heart speed up? Does your, you imagine your blood pressure goes up? The stress? Yeah, that would be stressful, I think. Um, so who would I, you? And I wouldn't be able, I, there'd be no choice. I would have to do this and I would do it. Because okay, one, so, one so does not let one sister die in the so street or that kind of thing. So, yeah, that's a big guilt trip. Yeah, so I feel guilty. Yeah. yeah. So I'm already guilty. Yeah. yeah. I'm preparing for that. Yeah. If, you know, hoping, yeah, well, I hope not, but. So I need to take care of her. I have to take care of her. Does that thought bring peace or stress into your life? It brings stress. Who would you be when she's sick and they're calling without the thought, I have to... Is it me or is we have we lost Max? To take lost, lost Max. Okay. Yeah, she's yeah, mine for us. Just looking a bit frozen. Take care of her from a whole other position. 
when we know we don't have to, we're free to do it or not. And we get to see a very loving human being, not someone guilt-ridden doing it that resents it. Because the truth is, if you lost your arms, your legs, all your money, you couldn't take care of her. You know, we'll say, you, you couldn't. So how do I know I don't have to take care of her? I could be in a position where I don't have to. I can't. This opens it. Yes. But to, to believe that I have to do it is a lie. I don't have to. I do it because to give to her is my heart's desire. It feels right. I love her. And from that position, it's, it's you know, when the doctor calls and says we need more money, you're open to discuss it rather than, oh, God, not more money. You know, all this painful, I have to. Yeah. Let's, hear, let's hear what else you've written down. I need Lillian uh, to always take care of herself. Turn it around. I don't need Lillian to take care of herself. Yeah, it's not as though you had a choice. Yeah, she certainly has her own life. And, mm -hmm. she's... and there's nothing you can do about it. That's right. So turn it around again. I need myself to always take care of myself. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You're the one. And the way you take care of yourself sometimes is to help your sister. And sometimes it's not. Not to help her. Yeah. And that was that other turnaround. Could you find it? I need myself to. I need myself to not take care of myself. Yeah. Can you find it? Or sometimes you don't? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's a little more gentleness around that. Yeah. Yeah, I'm kind of irresponsible. Yeah. Well, of course, <laughs> you project that onto her, too. Right. Yeah. What else is possible? Let's look at the next one. She shouldn't squander her money. Is that true? Was, actually, I don't really know for sure. Good. She, she, uh, she's scary, but uh, <laughs> she's actually way more adventurous than I. And that's, you know, uh, how are you doing this? How are you affording that? Because uh, I have many, so maybe she's not. I have looks like it, and that would be you know if she ran out of money to support herself, then it's either that that would that that's how it's related. Yeah. So I'm certainly, sister, you shouldn't be squandering your money. And so is it true? Um, it's not true. To you know, to, don't squander your money to save me. Well. I, I, I want her to live her life, and, I, and she does. Uh, this is wonderful. This is, this is wonderful what's unfolding. We're hearing what you really want. Yeah, you know, I really want her to live her life. Yeah. I think she really is. Got well, stuff she to loves live. it. She squanders her money. She goes places. She does things. She lives in places I just, you know, when I don't know that they're very much fun, but it's a gender of a major sort and yeah. lots of courage. And yeah. here's a person who I didn't think was capable of handling her life. Well, yeah. are you kidding me? She's way more capable than I am in a whole. <laughs> well, I have to, I really have to you know, admire her. For all this. <laughs> You may want to email her, call her, talk well, to her. I have told her some, that some a bunch of this stuff recently. Well, have you told her you just love that she squanders her money yet? I haven't told her. That. <laughs> she probably wouldn't appreciate it if I put it in those terms. But, no, it uh, might be nice to say, you know, whatever way you're dealing with your money, you're amazing. You know, look yeah, at I what could, you do and how you afford that. Yeah, I, I yeah. could do that. Yeah, and then yeah. how do you do it? I want to know. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. yeah there's, I, somehow she's she's got to be a, a magician and making things work that I haven't figured out yet. So. Yeah, well, she sounds like a great teacher. She is. Yeah. She shouldn't squander her money. Turned around. She should squander her money. And it's another turn around. I. I shouldn't squander her money. <laughs> well, my money. <laughs> yeah. I don't have her money to squander, but I shouldn't squander my money. And yeah. I, yeah I, that. And if you take care of you, you won't have to squander her money. She won't have to take care of you. Oh, she could have to take care of me. I hadn't thought of that one yet. Okay. <laughs> so take care of yourself. Do not squander your money. Be very careful with it. Very frugal for her sake. <laughs>
I think that makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> I go along with that. Turn well, about I turn fair around. Play. Yeah. That's yeah. completely and, fair play. Yeah. And turned around for your sake. You really love her, don't you? I do. Oh, yeah. yeah. Let's look at the next one. Lillian is, oh boy, well, irresponsible or. She's irresponsible. Well, and, and slash adventurous, adventuresome. Yeah. Um, Let's look at the irresponsible. In this work, we don't question the, the, oh, those thoughts that we love so much. Why would we question? They bring us happiness. So the irresponsible, that, that's a stressful thought for mm -hmm. some of us. Yes, sir. She's irresponsible. Can you absolutely know that that's true? No, I can't. Believe How that. do you react when you think that thought? She's well, irresponsible. It's stressful because then it lead, that leads to these thoughts. Well, at some point down the road, she won't have she, uh, responsibilities with money and resources, and she may have to end up on my doorstep. Yes. Oh, dear. That's, that's very that's stressful. stressful. So who would you be without this thought? I would be much more at peace with the thought of her and um, the whole situation as her life winds down. Uh, she's older than I am, so it's going to wind down most likely before mine. I, I'm going to see. And That's that, a good one. And that I would, <laughs> I'm going to see that happen. And I'm, <laughs> and I'm going to, it, it'll work. Her life will work. Yeah. She's irresponsible. Turn it around. She is not irresponsible. I am irresponsible. Yes, when you mentally go into her life, we have her on a doorstep, we have her sick, we have her, we're, we're spending her money in our mind, and she gets to do it, we don't. Yeah, I'm, I'm really messing with her life in that regard. So yes. I, I'm trying to, you know, yes. don't think those thoughts. Well, yeah. guess what, I'm thinking those yes, thoughts. Yes, that's, that's what we're thinking. Mm -hmm. It's wonderful to explore. There's, there's, there just doesn't seem to be any harm in it. They're there. Let's question them. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. Right. Did that come through for everyone okay? Yeah, that was amazing. That was great. Yeah, victims are the only violent oh, people. And I have, I have to go back to the share screen and stop it. Okay, I've killed that now, hopefully. Yeah, so I think that that's quite good. It kind of shows her process quite well. Um, and she talks a lot about how mentally we're in other people's business a lot. And I think that's, that's really true. I'm guilty of it. Who's not guilty of it? Um, actually, you know, a lot of what she's talking about is staying out of other people's business mentally and staying in our own business and all the things that we kind of think that other people should be doing um, are very much illustrating really our own values and what, what's right for us, not, not what's right for someone else. Um, and I also really love that the part in that video where he was able to start really appreciating her when he <coughs> let go of the story about how he thought that she should be based upon his values, where he's obviously quite frugal and has all kinds of things around money, when he was able to let go of that, he was able to really um, see the beauty of, of her and how she was living her life. Um, and may, maybe even be a little bit inspired by it. And um, that's, what I, that's what I was able to do when I did the process around my sister. Um, it was it was amazing. It was like after all of those years, I was able to actually really appreciate a lot of the um, wonderful things about her. And um, one of the things I said to her um, was that I was I was sorry that I hadn't appreciated her all those years in a lot of ways, you know. And um, yeah, big shifts can happen, you know, when you actually start taking ownership of these things. Um, so anyway, I, there's, a, there's a lot in there. Um, there's lots of those things of her working with people around different issues on the internet. She, she, does, she does one about not having enough money, which I haven't watched, but I'm going to watch that one because that look, looks quite good too. Um, and so, you know, if you've got an, an issue that you're challenged with, she does a lot of work around sisters. Um, the sister, you know, Tanya, you'll be able to relate. <laughs> the sister relationship is, can be very, very challenging. 
Um, and I'm actually, I'm actually thinking that it, it will be really good for me. Yeah, it will be. It will. Um, and yeah, because I think with, in the sister relationship, there's quite often a lot of judgment and expectation and um, n not allowing, you know, just not allowing people to be as they are, you know, there, there again, you're, you're getting in their business. Um, yeah, so that's it really. That's all I wanted to share. Just an introduction really to, to her and her work, which I, you know, as I say, I think it's very, very powerful. Um, <coughs> miraculous. Um, Thanks, and you man. can start doing it on everything, everything in your life. She does it around, you know, political, issues you know politicians anything that's pissing you off in your life really did you see the questions in the chat max oh sorry no i haven't <coughs> <coughs> oh. oh the second question i can put the second the questions in there the second one is can you absolutely know that your statement is true um Yeah. Yeah, can't have respect from others until you respect yourself. It's so, it's so true. Um, so much of what we are trying to get out of other people, which it's not a job to us, is just stuff that we need to be giving ourselves. Expectations lead to disappointment. Yeah, exactly. Um, you know, and like I said, um, a lot of those expectations are just bizarre and unrealistic because we can't even do them ourselves. Can't respect others to respect you until you respect you. Yeah, exactly. Self-respect. Um, mine is trying to love myself even though I don't have it all together. Helping people is a big thing for me, but at the same time trying to help myself improve. Yeah, it's true, Katrina. Everything self, everything starts with self love. Yeah, I've been learning. Otherwise, you just always try. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Otherwise, you you're just always trying to get get something from other people, and you know we're we're all intrinsically worthy of love. You know that's what I believe. You know we're all God's children, so. Yeah, we're all perfectly worthy of love. Um, we don't need to, uh, you know, we don't need to earn it. We don't need to ask for it. You know, it's it's a, it's our birthright. Yeah, I think with starting my life all over again, I've had to, you know, I've had to learn a lot of things, and um, self love is one of them. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. And then it's just nat people naturally, um, yeah. And then your relationships all just naturally start to improve anyway. Yeah. Did you see the other questions from Sarah? Oh, um, about not enough money. Can you share the link for the, the money one? Yeah, okay. I'll just write that down. Um, and um, and I'll put the questions in there. Put the name of the book as well. Um, yeah. So, well, that's it's only been half an hour. I was hoping it wouldn't be more than half an hour. So good. Thank you so much, yep, Maxine. Helpful. You're awesome. You really are. Um. Just, yeah, thank you so much for sharing that awesome training. That was so good. Oh, you've inspired me now. I, I need to. My relationship with my sister is improving slowly, um, but it's really good that I think doing that will, I think we'll just tweak it that much more. Uh, it's a very illuminating pro process because you get to see um, 
Yeah, I, I mean, you, you sort of get to see how you've been unjust towards them, and I think that's very liberating. Mm. Very liberating. Yeah. I see, you saw that, that the appreciation that he had for her in the end. You could see him coming to it before he'd even made yeah. a statement. He was already coming to it. You know, it was really yeah. interesting, the process that she took him through. It was so good. Yeah, and yeah. the interesting thing is that shift will happen for them without you even saying anything. They will be able to feel it because yeah. I did the process with my sister, um, realised that I didn't respect her, had this huge shift in my feelings towards her without saying anything. And then I saw her in a couple of days and it, all, everything had just fallen away between us. Mm. So just me doing the process was enough to just let everything go between us she didn't I didn't even hardly have to say anything neither did she it was just gone you know that big wall was gone it's great I love that it's fantastic I think that's as well because of our energy isn't it when you shift your energy we're like magnets we don't attract them the same that same yeah. kind of back so she seemed that like felt the shift and almost felt there was a shift and so yeah, yeah you've noticed a change yeah because yeah. like like super consciously you're in the struggle together and if one of you just lets it drop then then it drops for the other one as well you know it's yeah. in a, energetically we're, we're all in this kind of holding pattern and if mm -hmm. one person stops then it then it all stops yeah yeah i was just going to see if it's on audible actually sarah i think it'd be great for you honey um i was just but i'll, I'll check it later so um, thank you thank you so much, Maxine. I just wanted to talk with you all just about something else that I mentioned tonight on the event before I got kicked off. And that was um, that we've got, I don't know if any of you know about it, I've heard about it, but our new Vitality Hub, we have a retreat. So we have a Vitality Hub retreat on the 29th of August that Ange has organized. It's an online retreat. And there was a little bit up about it on the website, but I want to just play you something about it. So for any of you that haven't seen it, um, I just want to play this so you can see. Is that the right one? No. Sorry, because I got kicked off before. I've lost all my stuff. So we'll just go back. I'll be back with you in a second. Okay, sorry, I am here. I might just disappear for a moment, but I am actually here. Um, which is annoying because I had all these things set up, ready to go. Thanks, computer. Talk amongst yourselves. Yeah, thanks for sharing that, Max. It was great. Um, it's a good reminder. I'd, I'd heard of Byron Katie about 10 years ago, but, you know, just not doing the work. <laughs> that it's called the work i need to get and do that work it's a good reminder work, i know yeah oh, it's amazing oh, i was just actually gonna say katrina um you can also do the work on the thoughts that you have about yourself it doesn't have to involve anyone else you can do the work on yourself yeah. you can write down all of the thoughts that you have about yourself um unloving horrible thoughts that we all have about ourselves a lot a lot of the time um, and then you can put them through the same process you can put them through that same five-step process um, and that will you know that will start to free you so it does it doesn't have to be around other but it can be around it's very powerful to do it with yourself just your own thoughts about yourself yeah, because I, I do go and do I do go and do my journal, and if I can find the five steps thing, maybe I can do that when I get home from each trip. Yeah, I'll put I'll put the process in the chat anyway. Right, I'm back. I will share. Here it is. When was the last time you did something wholeheartedly for yourself? And when was the last time you took a few hours to ground, reconnect and reset? 
2020 hasn't been what any of us expected and has come with challenges for many, which is exactly why we've created what we have, something to help you to reconnect back to yourself. The Health and Vitality Virtual Retreat is a gift where we're going to bring an experience to you in your own home. There will be meditation, intention setting, yoga, cooking demonstrations, and a health webinar. Plus, we'll be guiding you through a session to help you finish 2020 in a beautiful state with true intention. The only cost to join on the day is a small $10 donation to our chosen charity, Nutrition Plus, whose purpose is to improve the health of Indigenous children in Australia and New Zealand. If you would love to reset your health habits, begin living intentionally and connect back to your 2020 desires, please message the person who you found this video through and be sure to invite those you love to experience this with you. Yeah, so it's a retreat for everybody. It's for us and it's for our customers. It's for any guests, any friends, any family that you want to invite. Now, the whole idea is $10 donation for per Zoom room. So what I'm thinking would be really cool is wherever you are in the country or in the world, is to get together and have your own Zoom room. So have a space where you can invite and we can bring all the team together in that area. Um, we can invite any customers that we have in that area. We can invite any friends or family that we want to in that area as well um, to be part of it. And all we're doing is paying one ten dollars but if you want to, if you want to give to Nutrition Plus and you want to give another $10 donation just because, then you, there's nothing stopping you from doing that as well. So I'm going to have something at my house. I've got two um, customers that I'm going to invite as well. But anyone else in this area who would love to be part of that, my, my, my door is open. And, you know, I'm happy for you guys to come. I'm happy to pay the $10 and anyone can just come and join if you want to. So. And for anyone, I don't know, Sarah and Nelson, if you want to do something like that with the Nelson team, go for it, honey. I mean, if, you know, Karina, Emma, Max, if you don't want to come over here, if you want to do something in Palmy, then, you know, do that as well. But, you know, you're all welcome here if you want to. I mean, if you want to do something like that in Auckland, wherever you are. But I know in Auckland at the moment, it's a little bit tricky because obviously they're not going to be able to, it's going to be harder to get together and a lot of people aren't going to want to do this, but it still gives people the option. So if you've got a friend that you know that lives far away from you that you think would be interested, invite them anyway. All they're paying is $10. It's going towards our charity. It's only 10 bucks for a whole day. So the time is um, nine to two um, Australian time. So for us for in New Zealand, it's 11 to four. <laughs> I had that the other way around. I was thinking seven to twelve for some dumb reason. Yeah, no, we're we're ahead of them, Kat. We're ahead of yeah, them. I know. <laughs> so yeah, so it means that for Janet and Kath, it's gonna be the wrong time because you'll be asleep. That's the only thing. Um, but I'm just wondering whether in fact what I might do is send a message to Ange and see if there's going to be a link available for you guys at some point to watch it when you're obviously in the, the other side of the world and on a completely different time zone. So I'll just connect with her around that. Um, if you'd Cause I think you'd both be keen, right? Yeah, that would be really great. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks. I don't know if you're interested, are you Kath? Oh, I don't know if Kath's even there. Um, but anyway, but I'll, I'll find that out for you and see what we can do for you. Yeah, sorry, I was muting myself, trying to. <laughs> <laughs> All right, honey. Are you keen to, to, give, to be part of it too, Kath? Um, yeah, yeah, I've just got a lot on at the moment. <laughs> yeah, it sounds really lovely though. I love the reconnection idea. I love, you know, just having time out for yourself. Um, but if you're happy just to do it at home and you don't want to get together with a team, that's okay too. So what I will do is I'll put this in, I'm going to put something up about it tomorrow in Soul Tribe. So I'll put the link up in Soul Tribe. So use it to invite anyone that you want to invite to it. Um, if you've got anyone, any friends in Kapiti or any customers in Kapiti, invite them along to my house. Just let me know if they're coming so I can make sure that, you know, I've got food here and stuff for them. But And if any of you guys want to come, to my place, anyone? 
I'll come to you because I guarantee I'll be having an open home on that day. Oh, okay. Oh, good, good way to get out of the house. Well, I'll be happy to get out of there, actually. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, I'll come to you. Cool. Okay. Can we promote on our pages? Absolutely, Sarah. Absolutely, honey. I was going to do that tomorrow. Um, and the other thing is, have you guys heard about the new, the new promotion? We've just had our shakes one in today. We've got the Vibrancy Pack $20 off until the 2nd of September. Yes. Isn't that exciting? Yep. So, yeah, that was from today. So fill up your boots, get some, you know, get as many customers on that as you can. And remember, too, that I've got my little incentive going for this month. So if any of you, because at the moment we've got about 14 customers, and I know there's only one person that's put their customers down, and that's my husband, um, in the incentive album. So if you guys want to you know if you want 50 bucks from me <laughs> you need to put your stuff in if you've got new team if you've got new customers you need to pop them in i want that 50 bucks i want to buy this buyer on katie book <laughs> <laughs> great hey, well, tanya yep my i'm i'm going to be getting a vibrancy pack to, for me to upgrade mine my daughter wants the berries is she able to put through an order when I'm paying for it? Is, does that count as another customer or do I just add that on to mine? No, no. If, if it's separate, I th I'm not sure. I'm not sure if so the vibrancy, under... I think the vibrancy pack comes as a separate thing, like the shakes because it's a promotion. So I think yeah. you have to put them through as two separate orders anyway. Because it's the vibrancy that... pack, the berries and the omegas. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Does that mean that you've got your promotion, Karina? I think so, but I think I have, yeah. I've got, well, I'm getting, I'm getting, um, That's cool. a friend yeah. of mine's getting the fruit and veg with the free for her daughter. Okay. I've got to put all this through tonight. And then I need the, the vibrancy pack for me to upgrade mine and Morgan wants some berries. Oh my so God. I think I have. So how many <laughs> I haven't actually worked it out to make double sure, but I think I have. Oh, that's so exciting. Okay, we'll look at it tomorrow. We'll have a look at it tomorrow yeah, yeah. and find out exactly yeah. what you've got. So yeah. you've only got till Friday. You'd I know, I know. <laughs> Yay. Mm. Oh, that's so I cool. Know. That's so cool. And Emma, um, Angel yeah. can do this too, honey, if she wants. So remember that you, she can also be yeah. part of this incentive as well. Yeah. So um, she ordered she ordered fruit and veggies today right. and berries yesterday. So we, we did them a bit strange. So berries oh. went through yesterday. So instead of doing the premiums, we had to do it this way for this time. So oh, I've got a okay. new well, she team. Can, she can upgrade it if she wants. She can just call HO and upgrade it if it hasn't gone out yet. It has. The berries went out yesterday. Oh. So then we put through the fruit and veggies today. So when, when she gets them, she, she'll, be, she'll have the premiums. Yep. And then I'll change it. I've got to actually transfer her berry order over to her. Yeah. Where do I find the transfer form again? I looked for it on my VO. I couldn't find it. So it's under, so if you go to my team data and then forms, yep. and, and, forms and applications. Yep. And then you go down to orders, you'll see, um, you'll see transfer, customer transfer. Yep. Yeah. You yep. just fill out okay. that. Awesome. Thank cool. you. Welcome. Um, so, yeah, that was everything that I wanted to talk about, I think. Yes. So just make sure if you get any new customers or any new team that you put down, put them down in that incentive album. If, if I made an album or if I not, I might do that tomorrow if I haven't done that. Um, cause I, it's going to be, it's really hard for me to actually go through and ha I have to go through the reports to find out who's brought on new team. And it's, I mean, if you've seen my reports, it's pages and pages. So it's so much easier for me. If you guys can just put it up in that album, I can see how many customers you've got, how many new team you've got. I can add it all up and make sure that you actually get your 50. When you've got your five points, you get your 50 bucks. Tanya, can you actually have reorders as well? Because I've got another, you know, once they've finished the four months, a reorder. Is, does that include it or not? No, just new, new customers. Just new. All right. Yeah. Okay. No worries. It's a shame, actually, you don't have the Vibrancy Pack special either. I know. It's such a good little pack. Oh. No.
Mm. All right, just rub it in. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. I know, and, and, right. and America have some really good specials going at the moment too. They've got um, free shakes with their premiums as well. Oh, what is going on with the UK? They need I to like really wake it up. I don't know. <laughs> don't know what the UK is up to, but there's not enough good stuff going on with the promotions anyway at the moment. Yeah. Oh, anyway, any, anyone else got any? Uh, any questions or anything? No, I think I might even ask you, you or Tammy during the week if I can think of anything. Yeah, okay. Cool. Well, you guys are awesome. Thank you so much, Max, for tonight. That was um, so good. Thank you, Max. Really yeah. amazing. Thank, thank you, Max. You're valuable welcome. time. I hope it gives you all some freedom at some point in the future. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'll um, certainly be letting you know about that one. <laughs> yes, yes. You could definitely put it into practice with your two. <laughs> yep, I think I'll do it both. So I, I can do them separately or together? Like, do I have to work on one at a time? Your How mother, your mother as well. My mum, oh. yes, yes. Mm, and my niece and my, nep my niece and my nephew as well. I've got yeah. quite a few to work on. <laughs> very busy. <laughs> Sarah, you've got some too, haven't you? <laughs> yeah. All right. All right, ladies. Thank you so much for tonight. See you next Bye. week. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Bye.